We'll be looking at creating a hotspot on a MicroTik router and connecting that to an external CAPI portal server for guest engagement, collecting guest data that can later be used for marketing. And the code for the web server and the procedure for setting it up are given in the description below. Before setting up hotspot, we need to disable firewall on our MicroTik router so that we can connect to it from the WAN side because once we enable hotspot, it will no longer allow us to connect to the router from the LAN side. So we'll go to firewall and we'll disable the rules which block uh, user connections from uh, WAN side. And after this, we'll make a note of our WAN IP. So in this case, our WAN IP is 192.168.100.122. So we'll connect to the router from this IP. And so currently we are connected to our MicroTix LAN. So we'll connect to the WAN network, uh, the network which uplinks, uh, which is an uplink to the, to the MicroTix. And from this network, uh, we'll connect to the MicroTix router using its WAN IP. So let's wait for it to get connected. Now we are connected. So we'll connect to the MicroTix from its WAN side. Now that we are connected to it, We'll set up hotspot on this router. So we'll go to hotspot setup and select the LAN bridge as the hotspot interface. And the next options will be at their defaults. So the setup is completed successfully. Now we need to make a few changes. So we'll go to server profiles and disable chat and select tap. And we are also going to disable cookies. Next, we are going to user profile and shared user. We'll make it equal to the number of users that you want to use your hotspot. So I'll set it 20. And uh, this user profile has several uh, important parameters. For example, session timeout is the parameter that uh, if you want your users to be disconnected after a certain time, like 30 minutes or one hour, two hours, you can, sesh, uh, you can set the session timeout to that value. Similarly, it has rate limit uh, for restricting the bandwidth of the users and uh, keep a live timeout and uh, idle timeout. So you can uh, set these parameters according to your requirements. And then if you want to set up different parameters for users, uh, like uh, a, a particular user would have a certain uh, bandwidth rate limit, you can set that here. After this, we need to set up our wall garden. So wall garden is the uh, websites or uh, IP addresses that are accessible to the user when they are in captive state. So basically in this, we need to whitelist any websites or IP addresses that we need our user to be able to go to uh, before they are authorized on the network. So in this, uh, I'm going to add the IP address on which my web server is hosted. And the last thing that we need to do is to uh, is to uh, uh, is to upload this login.html file. So let me show you. Uh, what is contained in our custom login.html file. We are going to open login.html and uh, this file can be uh, obtained from Microtex documentation and I will also provide a link to it. So the most important parameter here is the address of the web server to which the users should be redirected. So this is our web server and uh, it has uh, a captive portal server and splash page set up on it. So we are going to put this link in the action uh, parameter so that users would be redirected by the MicroTik router to this link. And now we are going to be uploading this file to our MicroTik router. So in the file section, we will delete the original login.html and upload this custom login.html file. So now our hotspot is set up and uh, let's, uh, let's connect to it using a mobile client.
Now we are connecting to the Microtex LAN network and you see that the user has been redirected to the external captive portal server at this address, the address that was contained in the login.html file. So now it's a portal for guest engagement. It can have custom fields. So right now it has first name, last name and email. Uh, it's possible to include other details like uh, a user's phone number, birthday, things like that. So we are going to fill up these details and uh, these details would be saved in a local database, a MySQL database. So now the user is getting connected and after connecting the user has been redirected to google.com. So all of this is contained in our uh, uh, HTML code. And this is the MySQL database where the user's records are kept. So you can see that the details that we added, the first name, last name and email, they are now saved in the database along with the user's MAC address and IP address. And if we go to the Microtech router, we can also see this user connected on the hotspot. So you can see this MAC address and this IP address is connected to our hotspot server. And here also you can see uh, several details of that session and the, the bandwidth being consumed by the user. And so, for example, if we want to disconnect the user, we can select this option and this user will be disconnected from the uh, hotspot. So now what we can do is our, uh, uh, our HTML code basically allows for the user to be recognized when they connect again uh, on the network. So they don't have to enter their details, their first name and last name every time. So now we'll be connecting again to this network and our user should be recognized by the network based on the database lookup. So you see now they see a welcome message and they'll be automatically authorized on the network. So they don't have to enter their details again and again. So that's it for now. I hope you like this tutorial and uh, feel free to contact me if you if you need any further support with this or you uh, you need consultancy regarding other captive portal projects that you might have thanks a lot and have a good day